are we in for a ride of a video? If you are only here for yarny goodness, you're going to want to fast forward. There's some yarny goodness. I have something to show you guys. A bag I've never bought from this place before, but the first little bit of this I'm going to do something I don't normally do, and I'm just going to vent to you guys about what's been going on, because it's been a lot. Um, gosh, this is a bad angle. Your family, you don't care. Okay. First of all, I am not... Oh, sorry. I'm not home. We're at the Marriott. Go say hi. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, baby. You're pretty, too. So, I'm a bride. Aw, oh, thank you. Um, so, we're at the Marriott right now. Um, the rest of the family is joining us when they get off work. Um, what a mess. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to just talk to you guys about everything that's been going on. It's not just about the flood. There's other stuff going on. And if that's not something you're here for, I totally respect it. You can fast forward. Um, and I do have a package from somewhere I've never bought before, but right now I'm going to vent to you guys and I'm not trying to be complainy or negative or anything, but I want you guys to know what's going on. It's actually been a while since I have filmed. Um, it doesn't look that way to you guys. I filmed a bunch of stuff and, uh, have been uploading it. So I had content to upload, but I haven't filmed in a bit. I needed stuff. When, I, when the situation that I'm about to talk about started happening, I knew pretty quickly that this was going to be a situation. And so I recorded some stuff. Anyway. Okay. Sorry, I'm really dehydrated. Um, so a week ago, when I told you guys about the shooting at my kids' work, there was a few things that happened all at the same time within like a 36-hour period of time. And for any of you who might wonder, my, my fur babies are here too. They're just hiding because they're, you know, it's new. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So... I'll try to make a long story short. Um, I've already kind of done this once and I just like went off on a whole thing. So we noticed a problem and we were without a washing machine for like a week. And then uh, we kept, you know, we tried to fix it by sneaking and everything. It didn't work. It was, it was overflowing into the laundry room, flooded the laundry room. So we couldn't do the laundry. We let our property management company know and nothing happened. Then it started going into other areas, not so nice areas. And we had a smell and we got tired of waiting. We called a plumber and the plumber said the underside of the house was flooded with sewage. We had a sewer main break. Not the city sewer main, our, our main um and he said it's going to be a $6,000 repair. I still haven't heard from the property management at that point, And I'm just... So, uh, we start getting backups other places. And at this point, I'm just like hands off on everything. I'm not touching anything. I'm not doing anything. I don't feel like... It's a very sanitary situation, um, even though I have OCD surrounding germs, so I keep it clean and everything. It still was just like, it was a lot. Um, anyway, fast forward. Our property manager gets a hold of us, and she sends a plumber out. The plumber comes out, and it's very quickly evident that he is not a plumber. He is a contractor, a general contractor, which mad love and respect for Andrew used to be as well. I don't have any issues with that. He just was not, um, he, it, he was, it, sorry, I can't think of the words I'm trying to say. He, uh, he wasn't, um, qualified to do this level of plumbing work. So he started over at one end of the house and when he couldn't, when the problem didn't 
didn't fix from right there at high sweetheart he would move to the next area but when he's doing that so he he disassembled all the piping under my wash sink in the laundry room he he broke my cabinet in order to get to the sink like broke the shelf and everything like that just destroyed my cabinet to get to the do you still need help with that buddy okay to get to um the pipes and when the when the when the problem still wasn't fixed he went and opened up a 24 by 76 inch hole in my laundry room wall to access all of the pipes there and then when that area didn't resolve the issue, he went into the kitchen and sawed through all the way through the floor underneath my kitchen sink to the underside of the house. You could literally see the ground. And then another hole to the other side into the downstairs bathroom. He went into the bathroom. He took my toilet seat off the floor and this is where everything just went haywire. One of the kids flushed the toilet upstairs. We were never told we couldn't. It wasn't a big deal. You know, we didn't do anything wrong. But when they did that, it overflowed the downstairs bathroom with sewage. And so he kept trying to fix things and they would keep having them flush it to see if it fixed it to see if it was still overflowing and just kept overflowing it over and over and over again and wasn't cleaning it up was just letting it continue to fill up my floor while this my bathroom floor is my my marble tile floors are broken all that goes under the tiles and so he cuts the plumbing off to the bathroom, opens up plumbing in the laundry room, and then continues to do the same thing. And he floods my entire laundry room with sewage. Hours of it. Hours of just reflushing, reflushing, reflushing. Then he goes and runs the sink and he goes outside to smoke a cigarette. And I'm upstairs because I'm just like losing my mind. And I can't do stairs. I need knee replacement and back surgery. And I haven't been able to do the stairs for years. I had to, to use the bathroom and to go help my son. And I just had to get away from the smell. And I was upstairs and I come down and it's just overflowing. It's just overflowing because he just left the water running and it just kept going and going and going. I have so much stuff that's destroyed. My bathroom has to be redone. My laundry room has to be redone. My Half my kitchen has to be redone. And I'm not dealing with places that this stuff gets done quickly or the right way. So. He's there until 2 a.m. last night. And he did, he did try very hard to clean up his mess. And it was one of those situations where he should have stopped. He should have stopped many hours ago and got somebody who was more qualified to do this. But he was trying so hard to fix what he was doing wrong that he was making it worse. And I understand it. And I feel for the guy. And he tried his hardest to, to get everything cleaned up before he left. He didn't want to leave us with a dirty house. I mean, there was no way it wasn't going to be dirty. He's a sweet man. He's a He's a good man, and I'm sure he's good at his job for what he's qualified for. But he wasn't qualified for this. Come to find out... Well, anyway, I'll say that in a minute. So, 2 a.m., I'm... Or 12. I'm contacting my property manager. We need a place to stay. He left us without running water. We have no... We had no access to water. No access to bathroom facilities. Nothing. And there was raw sewage in three different places of our house. And I can't get a hold of her. We had to sleep there last night 
because we couldn't afford a hotel on our own. And we're dealing with people that we weren't sure if we went and did it, if they would reimburse us for it. And at that rate, by time everything got done, by time we would have got packed up and got to the hotel, it would have been 5 a.m. for an 11 a.m. checkout. We couldn't afford two days in a row. So we just stayed. It was awful. Um, we, you know, had bundled the animals upstairs and brought everything they needed up there so that they would be safe. Um, so it took until today at 4 p.m. We were in that all day to day until 4 p.m. before they finally got us a hotel room. I feel ill. Um... Yeah, I don't feel well. Just the not sleeping and stuff, um, the sawdust, the chemical fumes, the sewage fumes, not being able to eat. We couldn't eat because I wasn't cooking in that kitchen. It wasn't sanitary. Nobody could go to the bathroom. It was just a mess. So, oh man. So I don't even know. I, I don't even have any idea. I have absolutely no answers. We don't have any idea what's wrong. My property manager would like to believe it's just an unhooked hose from the washing machine. That's not... If that was what it is, it's certainly not what it is now. So that's that situation. That's the reason why there won't be a live. That's the reason why I'm not doing any orders. All of the... Um, sub boxes are done but well except for a cup two but they are packed up sealed so is all the rest of my bases and put away far away from all this so that nothing can possibly happen to them and I'm not opening them until this is passed because I want you guys' stuff to be sanitary um, and I do apologize. I know how frustrating it is to spend your money on an order and have to wait for it. I have one person in particular that I dropped the ball on. I, I lost the order and she's been waiting since, I mean, she's been waiting, um, since the first week of January and she's going to have to wait even longer and I feel terrible about it. Um, I just think that it's better that everything be sanitary and safe. And, man, so that all started the same weekend that the shooting at my kid's work happened. And Preface was saying I'm okay, but I have to start chemo again. So, it was kind of a rough one, <laughs> and it's kind of been a little bit of a rough one. I really am fine. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm overwhelmed and I don't feel very good, but, um, here's the thing about chemo. I, um, I mean, I don't know that I've ever even talked about this. I don't remember. I do, I do, I mean, obviously, I do have cancer. I was in remission. Um, so I, I have to do maintenance chemo anyway. Um, this is just going to be a little different from that. So I don't know all the details yet. I, I've been getting all my, you know, scans and my labs and everything like that done. But, um, yeah, so it's not like it's anything out of this world new. You know, that's been what it's been for quite a few years now. But I thought I was out of the woods and as out of the woods as you can be anyway. And, um... We had shrinkage last time that I had went and got scans done and everything like that. So it kind of just took me for a loop a little bit. But it's okay. I'm, I mean, I'm okay, I'm sure. Um, 
you know, I've felt fine for the most part and stuff. So I'm just going to look at it as it's basically maintenance chemo. Just maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if they're going to change the cocktail that they normally use. Sorry, my lips are really dry. Um, I don't know if it's basically just going to be like maintenance chemo or if it's going to be like, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. And that's what it is really, isn't it? It's the unknown that stresses you out. It's not the, it's not necessarily the news as much as the, I don't know all the information yet. So, um, that's not us, buddy. It's the next one. It's next door. It's the neighbor. So, that's what's been going on in my neck of the woods. Um, it's been a lot, but... I reframed my brain around it and life is still good we're at a hotel that could not be the case we could still be at home and we could still be having to stay in that situation and we don't and it's being tended to for what that is it's being <laughs> tended to I mean there's a resolution that is going to happen one way or another what form that's going to take, I don't know, but it will resolve itself at some point. Um, the health stuff, I'm a champ. I'm a champ at dealing with that stuff. I've dealt with it a lot. I can deal with it now, and I'll deal with it again in the future, I'm sure, in some way, shape, or form. Um, I don't know how this will play a role now that I know about having lupus and everything. Uh... I don't know how things will change or if they will change. I, I just don't know anything. Um, my kids are home. And they're safe. And that's the best of all of it. So, life is good. It really is. I'm not just blowing smoke up my own nose. Um, I figure that's a nicer way of saying it than what it actually the saying is. Um... It could be way, 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 way worse. So, I'm counting my blessings and just going to roll with whatever it is. Whatever road this is, however this gets to the resolution, I am just going to roll with it. You know, take it as it comes because if I try to look at the whole big picture, all of the issues at one time, it's going to overwhelm. And I'm not going to be negative about it and I'm not going to get upset about it because then the situation is still going to be there except now I have to deal with I'm upset on top of it and I'm not going to deal with that. I had my little meltdown. Dee and Nicole and Maria helped me through it and um, Ray, uh, you know, different parts of it. Um, uh, and... You know, I have an amazing community. I have an amazing group of family here in you guys, and I appreciate that. So, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's all about. Reframe your thinking. You just have to, you know, embrace the suck for a minute, sure, because, I mean, dang, it just sucks sometimes. It does. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, but then you got to... Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, reframe your brain, and find a positive in something, and go for it. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. So, do we want a positive in this video? First of all, here's the positive. Look at this little cutie pie. Second, look at that little cutie pie. And look at that little cutie pie. <laughs> the other cutie pies are on the floor. Um... I have a box in a bag from Darn Good Yarn, and I've never ordered from them before. Um, I know you guys have been watching me sit here and lick and fold with my lips, and I'm so sorry. I know that's distracting. It is driving me insane. And I forgot my lip chop at home. If you can believe it, my 500 of them, thanks to Sherry Knowles, I have plenty, and I still managed to not remember one. I don't know how. Usually I have one in every single bag. Okay. So. Ugh. Some of this will probably be in a giveaway. Oh, cute. 
Oh, cute. Some of this will probably be in the um, monetization party celebration. No, thank you. I don't drink wine. Okay. So first, this is pretty. This is silk for sure. And it feels like microfiber. Okay, so there's these two gorgeous little babies. Let's unhank them. Hey, Patrick, do you know where Mama's magnifier went by chance? No? Okay. Fine. So this is that Markiplier. He loves Markiplier. Okay. Patrick wants a surprise. Well, Daddy got you O's. Isn't that a pretty good surprise? Okay. No, you want a different one? Alright. Let me look in my bag and see if I did bring it. I had my hands on it earlier. All right, let me attempt. So this is a lace weight because it says zero. 50 grams, 300 yards, recycled silk. Peekaboo lace. Fall flannel. That is gorgeous. I have several lace weight um, little mini hanks and all these sorts of little lace weight things I found while I was going through stuff and I'm going to start putting some of this stuff together. Okay. Included with purchase, helping people in our planet. Ignite your creative spark, a world of exotic textures and colors inside open to become artsy interesting and creatively empowered boy oh boy all that in one box all right now i'm hoping i get the same teal sparkly yarn that bag o' day got but i doubt it i'm not that lucky nah that's negative it could happen but it probably won't <laughs> oh my god it happens <laughs> I am calm, baby. I'm happy. Oh, it actually happened. What the heck? This looked teal when Crystal opened it. For mine, it looks green. I wonder if it is the same one. Okay, this is... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is Sparkle. It is the same one. Okay, Sparkle Worsted Weight Silk Yarn Winter Mint. Lord Almighty. 250 grams, 375 yards, 8.8 ounces, 342 meters. <sighs> Whew, that was, that was rough. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. He's watching uh, Hotel Transylvania. I know, you love that movie. You're so happy. I'm so happy too, buddy. So this is it. Isn't she gorgeous? Um, actually, you probably can't even see it very well. It looked really dark a second ago. Mm. I was about to tell Alexa to turn my light on. Hey, buddy, can you go turn the light on over there, please? It's by the door. Thank you, baby. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I was hoping for this and not the purple one. I'm stoked. And there are two of them, you guys. Two. This is that, uh, oh, what was this called? This was like the, um, mm, no, over there, baby, by the door. Go look by the door. The door we came in with the key? Go look by the door. There's a switch. Um, yes, very good. Thank you. Um, Mm, what was it called? If you go on Darn Good Yarns, it's right there on the front. It's a big gift box. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And I, if I didn't say it's called Winter Mint, 
That is beautiful. I can't wait to see what Crystal made with hers. Because I'm probably going to steal the idea and make it with mine too. I'm not very creative. I've been told. <laughs> My husband said it to me one time and I haven't forgotten it. And I remind him all the time like, oh, but I'm not creative. I can't do that. <laughs> so we're like, hey, can you do this? I'm like, I don't know. Can I? Am I creative enough? You know, I'm joking, but I like to tease him about it. Um, did I tell Okay, so 375 yards. Nice. That's a lot of yardage, and that's thick. Okay. And then there is... Okay. There are three of these little cakes. Very cute. Um... Lord, I'm not going to be able to see by the end of this. It's called Triple Twist DK Weight Yarn, A Dream Come Blue. I guess maybe this was a yarn of the month, or it's telling me to join the yarn of the month, which I have thought about doing and probably am going to. It's a three weight, 50 gram, 110 yards recycled silk. That's okay, baby. I'm almost done, okay? You're being such a good boy. I'm so happy with you. I'm very, very proud of you, Pat. Um, so, yeah, there's three of those. Very nice. And Crystal was not joking when she said this is the softest merino she has ever felt. Holy moly. This is a sport weight, 50 gram, 200 yards, 100% merino what is in this i know it says merino this does not feel like merino guys this feels like baby alpaca like cashmere this does not feel like merino this is insanely soft i want more of these i have to figure out i have to figure out if i can buy more of this because holy moly i want to dye that that's going to be fun I'm for sure going to dye that. Okay. And then there's two. Ooh, it's sparkly. I love the sparkles. Yeah. Okay. Sparkle worsted. Just like this lamb jamma Um. Classic blue. 50 grams. 75 yards. That's enough to make a hat. That's pretty. That's very pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. What else is in here? All right, we have, oh, what are you? There's a little bag. This is a nice, thick bag. It says assorted skirt enamel ornament. Aww. So it's like a little Christmas ornament. Of a skirt. That's cool. Neat. I like that bag. That was a nice bag. It's thick. Okay. Oh, I've got such a headache. Um, there are some hooks here and some needles. So that's cool. What do you say? You're excused. So it's a knitting US 10 or 6 millimeter crochet US J 10 or 6 millimeter. Okay. Lots of little bags. I love these little bags. These are nice. Hey, nice. Yeah, no, I'm saying I'm saying they're nice. It's a good thing. Winter stitch marker pack. Yeah, that's what this is. It's like some sort of um winter like mystery box or something. So there's a pair of ice skates. There is a snowflake. An acorn. Acorn. A gingerbread man, 
cute. And what I drooled over whenever Crystal opened hers was the little rainbow mitten. And they're on the little light bulb um, stitch marker, guys. I will probably take them off of that and put them on something different. That's cool. Two more bags. Start with love ornament. Oh, cute. A little navy blue. Throwing away your trash. It's a really good job, buddy. You're going to headbang to the music. Christmas stitch marker pack. Oh, that was a good run. You're so fast. Okay. Then there is... I can't tell what this is. I'm very, very blind. So there's that. I think it's a flower, but I'm not for sure. And there is a Santa hat. There's that. Yes, honey. Wait a minute, what? There is a snowman, or er, Christmas tree, and candy canes. So that is cool. Okay. I am for sure keeping these big boys. They are mine. I am for sure keeping these. I want to dye them. I am going to keep some of the stitch markers, probably only two, I think, and give the rest of them in the giveaway. I'm going to do a darn good yarn package for the monetization party. Um, I'll put the two ornaments in there. I'm going to keep the lace silks. I'm probably going to keep these two blue sparkles and then I'm going to give you guys these, some of the stitch markers, the ornaments, and the hooks as a bundle. So you have to be a subscriber because this is a subscriber appreciation, monetization, celebration situation whenever I do it um, so keep that in mind and tell your friends tell your wives tell your hubbies your girlfriends your boyfriends your aunties your unks um, anybody who will listen to come subscribe for a chance to win some amazing prizes I have had so many uh, people step up and donate from the community and some subscribers and I super appreciate you guys and then I've bought quite a few things and when I tell you some of the stuff I can't believe I am giving away you're not going to want to miss it it's going to be a good one we're going to have a good time um so it's on the 29th I think I'm doing it at six or seven I'm going to do a notice um Hopefully this situation is resolved by then. It better be. Um, but I will let you guys know closer to that. I do have a prior obligation earlier that day. But, uh, yeah. So, my phone just went dark. I don't know if it went dark for you guys too. Or just me. It's about to die. But I just wanted to catch you guys up on what was going on. And just sit and chat. Um, I needed a good chat. Wish you guys were here to chat back. But uh, I love you guys. And I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to upload this right now. Hopefully the internet is good to be able to upload it. Um, but you guys stay safe. And uh, I am just about ready to put the tutorial up. So I'm super excited about that. Um, got another mystery box. I have a mystery box from Cassie. I was supposed to have uploaded that already. 
Um, it's on my channel. I just forgot to make it public. Um, if this doesn't go up and you've already seen that video, it's because the internet wasn't good enough here to do it. And so I did that video, but anyway. All right, guys. I really love you. Thank you for listening. And thank you for your amazing comments that I already know are going to be coming. So I love you guys and I will update you. Be safe. Be happy too. Life is good. Might not always feel that way, but find yourself, find yourself something good and focus on that and it will get you through. Okay. And I'm here. So. I totally forgot to show you. I have a work in progress. I have a whip, y'all. Got my lovely Bridget bag with me. And... Oh, no! <laughs> if you want a dupe for the um, cherry candy at... Hobie. These Ludens throat lozenges. They hit the spot. And it's only like $4 for a pack of 90 on Amazon. I am undoing my project that got caught up. Okay. I am actually working on something. Oh my lord, they're everywhere. Um, I can get it out. Okay. So I'm using a yarn art cake. Clearly I haven't. Not that kind of cake, buddy. Yarn cake. It looks like a donut. Kind of does look like a donut. Um, okay. So I am finally getting around to making, I've wanted to make this for so long, uh, Bag O' Days post-virus shawl. I've always wanted to work the virus stitch and it's so easy. You guys, she is such a wizard when it comes to tutorials and patterns and stuff. I mean, it's just so easy to understand. And I love this center part. It looks like owls, which by the way, owls on my back, on my Bridget back. So I'm not too far into it. Um, I'm only on my first section of the post stitches, but um, I can't wait. And whenever I'm done with this, I already know what I'm going to do. It is called, I saw it posted on her fan, oh, sorry, on her fan page on Facebook today. It is called, oh my gosh, I want to think it has something to do with the word time or something. Uh, somebody made it out of a yarn art flowers cake in the cake I've wanted for so long. It is the one that is the red to gray, black or dark gray or whatever. And then really pale gray and white. I have wanted that cake for so long and she made it out of that and it looks stunning. So I'm going to have to just break down and buy it. Um, probably buy it on Amazon just because it's the only thing that I am going to buy and after shipping to do it. I don't know. It's probably going to be the way I go. It, it's only $23 on Amazon, so it's not it's not bad considering shipping is included. So, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. Um, I have I actually have a finished object, which is utterly shocking. But it's at home and it's packed away and um, this was the only thing that I had out uh, to bring so I wasn't going to dig through everything and risk anything. I mean, I make it sound like it's just like free flowing in my house. It's not this disgusting. It's contained to a few areas. It's already been like wet backed or whatever. It's just I get OCD about it and I worry that it's like traveling that I don't know it's traveling in the air or something which is probably not I mean when it flushes it can but it's not being flushed it's fine I'm just very overly cautious 
so, um, yeah, anyway, that's it. I wanted to show that to you guys. I'm going to work on it some more. I thought, boy, what a time to just sit. I can just sit and crochet. I have such a headache. I'm so tired. I'm so hungry that, I don't know, I'm probably just going to eat and go to bed and not end up crocheting anything and then go clean my house whenever I can get back in there. I don't know. It all depends on how long we're here. I reasonably, they should be doing a second day at least. But I don't know if the reasonable thing is going to happen. So we're going to see. But I will let you guys know. And I'll like vlog from here and stuff like that. So, um, all right. I wanted to show you that. Hopefully you guys saw it. I know I just already signed off, but, um, anyway. All right. Love you.